Hello everyone, it's Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the link. I post videos about beauty, lifestyle, Greek food, plus size fashion, planners, stationery, all those things. So if they are things you're interested in, you may consider subscribing to my channel. Now we are here to talk about cleansers. I have loads of cleansers to talk about. I have lots of tools, tools, a few tools that I use when I'm taking off my makeup, which I'm also going to mention. And I have different categories. I have balms, I have oils, I have exfoliators, I have foams, I have milks, I have micellar watery things. So wipes and yeah. I'm 45 years old. One thing I can tell you, I have never, ever, ever slept with my makeup on. I always take off my makeup. And if you are someone who struggles with that, my advice to you would be when you get home, straight away, take off your makeup. Because before you go to bed, you'll feel tired. Just take off your makeup before you start being in the relaxing phase. And, and that might help you, you know, get over with the problem of, oh, I can't be... Asked. Are you allowed to say asked? Taking off my uh, makeup. So let's start with a balm. I have a really super expensive balm which is in the bedroom and I forgot to bring. The Elemis one which I haven't tried yet because I'm like, oh, it's so expensive. I don't want to use it. And then when did you buy it? Anyway, so the Boots line Glow has come out with a balm. This smells really nice. If you're familiar with the Glow line, they have these really nice scented products and this is a really nice balm does it take off all my makeup no it's a nice first stage i always double cleanse i don't know if i said that um, i always double cleanse double cleansing is when you just use two products you usually go in with a with an oil and then you put on another product so yeah i use this balm it comes in like this you get a lot of product this costs four pounds i just use this all over my face it does leave a small film on your face so if you want to feel hydrated maybe this is something and then after the balm I might use something else so that's one of the poops sorry ah I moved you hang on let me just straighten you again okie dokie is everything all right yes you are all right now let's talk about eyes the eye makeup remover I use is the simple eye makeup remover I just go in with a cotton pad and just take off my eye makeup first and then move in with anything else I really like it and then I really like the hydrating cleansing oil from simple I find that this is quite pricey for what you get it's usually like six or seven pounds and you get 124 mil I really like oil cleansers though like if you haven't tried one you should they break up your um, makeup without uh, stripping your skin so it's a really good product to um, use and I really like using this the simple one but I wanted to try something else and I purchased it I haven't tried it yet but I really like all the products from them so I'm really looking forward to using this so I bought the vitamin C brighten uh, uh, what's it called uh, skin renew cleansing oil by super facialist I love any any product I've used from her, especially the rose line, smells amazing. So I really like it. So once I finish using the simple oil, I'm going to go start using this one. I'll let you know what I think in one of the next videos. Um, so yeah. So these are basically oils. Oils are great. I use them to break up the makeup and they don't strip my skin. When I, when I finished using an oil, I use my... Uh, micellar gel so the Car Garnier cleansing gel wash I love this product I've repurchased this many 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 times I prefer the gel to the water micellar Nivea for example water because I just end up using way too much product whereas this doesn't this isn't water this is a gel so it doesn't slip and I just prefer the Garnier micellar cleansing gel to the micellar air now gels do dry your skin a bit so when i finish using my gel i just uh spray on a mist or something like that hydrating straight after and the thing you're supposed to do when you're cleansing your face is 
don't dry it just let the water on yours on your face don't pat it off because you're taking away the water and the hydration you can pat your te your chin or something like that but don't i've read this in the skincare caroline hiron's book but don't tap it off and that's what i've been doing don't take off the water i've just been leaving the water on my face i just um you know wipe my chin with a towel and then the water and then i put a mist so even though the gel might make my skin feel a little bit dry um i am not bothered in order to combat the dryness i have been using a different product which i really like uh, so i might go in with uh, oil and then use the nivea rose care uh, this is a micellar milk and a cleansing toner this smells amazing it smells like rose like talc powder if that's something that you really like like you should check this out i've really enjoyed this i think i'm going to repurchase this just so you put the oil then you might put the milk it takes away the oil but this does leave like a a, a soothing um sensation on your skin so if you haven't tried a milk i'd say try one now in the morning when i get get up and i don't have makeup and i've cleansed my face and all that i like using the simple kind to skin foam again this is not as hydrating as anything else but this feels so nice it's like a cloud so if i use this just to wake me up this just puts put it all over my face and just wake up and then just put all my skincare so if you haven't tried the simple kind to skin vital vitamin foam check this out i have a weird one for you i was going through a stage where my eyelashes were very crusty and i had blepharitis so i ordered from amazon the so this is eye care foam this is for cleansing your eyelashes and eyelids and i think this helped again this was a foam i would put it all over my eyelashes and it was really good so i really enjoyed using this i'm not using it at the moment because i don't have an issue with my eyelids or on my eyelashes thank god that took forever anyway um now moving on um to exfoliating and cleansers one of the products i love i don't know if lots of people talk, well lots of people do talk about uh first aid beauty i really like the uh, ultra repair um, creams and all that but this face cleanser is a really nice gentle cleanser so if you're looking for like a number one kind of step cleanser in the morning i i rotate between this one depending on how my skin feels and this one this one is for lighter days this one is when i want to do a bit more work in my uh face wash in the morning so yeah um i really like this i am going to repurchase this i've almost used it up but i think it's a really nice uh cleanser and the prop like the first aid beauty has really good skincare and just really like it um sometimes i exfoliate i exfoliate like once or twice a week um i have been using the clean and clear uh, exfoliating daily wash by Johnson and Johnson I liked it it's a nice it doesn't strip my skin it uh, my skin feels a bit tighter uh, when I exfoliate but then I just go in with other products and you know follow up with uh, all my serums and all that so it's fine I like this I also like this so this is a, a gentle exfoliator I think this one even though I think it's supposed to be like gentle it does have like little beads which are um skincare products or whatever um and this is the rose hip hydrate brighten and refine facial scrub which brings back radiance to dull tired sensitive skin again it's from super facialist which i love um and i love this the smell and i feel that you know when i use this i feel that um my skin is better so it's cleaner so, but i don't use this very often because i've got sensitive skin and i want to take care of my skin and anyway i've been cleansing i cleanse my skin all the time so that's good now let's move on to some products or tools i use when i'm doing my skincare i always use one of these headband <laughs> with i had this i think this was from primark i just pull away my hair and use this and then i have been using um 
from the brand Gestilo uh, eco-friendly reusable cotton buds they are really nice you get them in this little bag and I just use them to take off makeup or to apply like my pixie glow tonic um, uh, tonic toner not tonic <laughs> wishful thinking um, so yeah um, I think this is good you can use them and then you just chuck them in the washer and they're fine I have a little brush for cleansing I just especially when I have like an oil and I've got loads of makeup I just create a little foam and use my cleanser I I have another type of cleanser a rubber cleanser again when I want to exfoliate physically I use this just to get rid of dead skin and all that so these are good products for that and finally my makeup wipes which are can be sometimes part of my first uh, step but which are always followed by something else or three things um, I like the simple cleansing wipes and they are biodegradable wipes they are kind to skin I think they do a good job and I use them mostly now during like makeup swatches and stuff like that because it's easier to take uh, your makeup off so these are the products I use what do you guys use let me know in the comments below what do you think of the products I mentioned thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and I'm at my pink rambles on Instagram if you want to be friends there I'll see you in my next video bye